Hello everyone, welcome aboard this flight and today we're on the ground in Helsinki and we're going to fly down to Riga today as part of our world tour and this is the what leg is it? We've done Ethro to Erma, that's the first leg. Three. Well, this is going to be our fifth leg today. Our fifth leg down to Riga. I've been meaning, I've been looking forward to this flight for quite a while now because I've never flown it before. I've never flown the Air Baltic Dash 8 before. So hopefully it should be an enjoyable flight. So everything's programmed in. So it's just time to get underway. So um, what we'll do is we'll put. Oh, on, we'll put these in the start and feather position. No, don't move seat. Perfect, and we'll give gas for clearance. Helsinki clearance delivery, Air Baltic 302, IFR to Vega, ready to cut. Air Baltic 302, clearance. So our cruise level today is 18,000 feet, so we'll just put that in immediately. There we go. We'll turn on the engine ignition so when we're ready, we can go. Okay. Next, we'll start the engine and start engine two first, like we usually do. Here we go. Perfect. Go, and now we will switch over to engine one and fire her up, and then we will throttle back up to the maximum. seen in the last video when we flew from Bergen to Helsinki, you saw that the aircraft turned invisible and that's because of the scenery. So what I've done is I've taken out the normal scene, I've taken out the scenery that turned the aircraft invisible and I've replaced it with just the normal scenery. It won't matter because we're not flying to Helsinki. We do have a little bit of scenery down in Riga, it's just freeware scenery, but as I said before, I don't have the money to buy payware scenery. So if I did have the money, I would buy it, but I just don't have the money, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to deal with freeware scenery, and freeware scenery is better than no scenery, so I just think to myself that that would be better.
Tower 72 is ATR 42 is now 737. up to the top, we'll just take off from here because this is a, a light aircraft and it's just a short flight so we won't need the full length of the runway. Gus locks can come off. It's ready to take off.
not rotate. There we go. Not too breezy today. Take 
a slow climb up to 18,000 feet. We're only going up to 18,000 feet because it's a short flight. It's going to take us about 40 minutes from now. We'll be on the ground in Riga in about 40 minutes. It's not long at all.
ladies and gentlemen, we have just started our approach. We would kindly ask you to fasten your seatbelt again and turn off all your electronic equipment. Go. Good. Throttle up a little bit. Perfect. After this, um, I've just downloaded a new game on my computer, and it's Subnautica. So after this, I think we'll play some Subnautica. Should be good. So, that's it then. It's just the descent phase right now, so I'll speak to you once we are on approach to the runway at Riga. Hello everyone, welcome back aboard. That's us now on final approach to Riga. So, we're on our final turn here, and we'll swing our right. 1,000. The 1,000 is checked. Gears down, we're at landing flaps, which is good. Perfect, let's get down into Riga. If you see me looking down constantly, it's just because I'm checking the speed as usual. This is what I do after the flight, just to make sure speed's okay, because I don't three, want to stall. Six. Or go too fast because you could overrun the runway. It is a bit windy down here in Riga. 500. Yeah, 
Hello everyone, welcome down to Riga after 54 minutes. Not too long of a flight, so what I'll do is I'll go and stop Project Flight. There we go, completed. Shut up with the warnings. There we go. Welcome down to Hels um, not Helsinki, to Riga after a 54 minute flight from Helsinki. Thank you very much for coming along, I hope you enjoyed it, it's a pleasure having you as always, and I'll see you next time, take care flying, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.